It turns out Pluto's neat looking, but what exactly is shaping that surface? This is Pluto in a minute. The short answer is there are a lot of processes that could be shaping Pluto's landscapes, and a lot of them are familiar from our earthly experiences. So we know that Pluto has an atmosphere, albeit an extremely rarefied one. It's about equivalent to the Earth's mesosphere, which is about 50 miles above the surface. The atmosphere may be extremely rare, but we do know that there are hazes on Pluto, and telltale waves in that haze tell us that there are surface winds. So wind erosion could be one factor shaping Pluto's landscape. Craters are another way that Pluto could be being resurfaced. Meteorites hitting the surface could create the giant impact craters, but also blast out ejecta that could blanket surrounding areas. And of course, in some of the latest lorry images, we see evidence of ice flows on Pluto. These large, moving, frozen masses could have reshaped Pluto's surface as they moved along. Evidence of this is definitely something the New Horizons team will be looking for, but in the meantime, for more news on Pluto, be sure to check out the New Horizons websites, join the conversation online with the hashtag PlutoFlyby, and of course, keep coming back for more Pluto in a minute.